Hello, this is Julie. I was asked if I could create one of these scalloped frames in Make the Cut software using the rhinestone feature. I can do that, so I'm going to show you how I would. I don't think it's any easier, in fact, probably a little more complicated than just using the wrap object to path, but it can be done, so I'm going to show you how I would do that. I start the same as I would with I'm using the donut to wrap around the circle, but then it changes a little bit. So I've got the CI in the find box to get the circle. I'm going to resize the circle to 5 inches, type in 5 and press enter. So now I have, have a circle and I want to get another circle so I'm going to select it and control shift click and I'm going to make this circle put this aside for later use if I need it. Now what I'm going to do is create some rhinestones to go around this circle but before I do, I want to make the circle a little larger. So I'm going to go into my generate shadow layer and I think a width of 0.02 is fine and I'll accept that. No, that's not big enough. So we'll try that again. Shadow and 0.2, not 0.02. Now this gives me a, a little wider line to work with and still keep the center the same. So I'm going to wrap the, the rhinestones around the outside circle that I just added. So to do that, I'm going to select the line, the outside line, by clicking on it. And then click on the rhinestone icon at the bottom. It's the second icon from the right on the bottom toolbar and I've selected the rhinestone size SS40 because that's about the size of the circles that I want to make. And again, we're making holes that would fit rhinestones. And then adjust the spacing to make them wrap around at a distance that would fit my scallops. Right now I'm just making the circles. So I've got a preview here and that looks fine. The circles are all outside of my main circle, so I'll accept that. Now that I have that, I'm going to make this a one inch circle and make my scallops. So type one and enter. And I'm going to wrap this around the bigger circle by holding control clicking and dragging over the bigger circle so I get the square circle triangle icon from my cursor then release the mouse and the control key and this wraps around I have the count set to 16 but I have a little bit of extra space here which I don't want so I just click this once to get them a little closer together I'm going to click on accept they're overlapping. Do I want them to weld? Yes, I would like them to weld. Now with this selected and the inner circle selected, I'm going to weld those. And then I've got to rotate the outside a little. So to get to the rotation handles, I click once for selection handles, twice for the rounded corners. I'm just going to drag that corner until the circles are about in the center of the scallops. Now I can select all and join and I have this design here and I can add my circles. I see that my circles aren't overlapping very well and you could accept that but I'm going to undo and let you see that again because I really want the wrap to be overlapping a little bit more. So I can use my up arrow here to get that overlapping just a little bit more. 
accept and I'm going to weld the paths and then I'm going to I think this time I'll send that to the top and hide it and maybe make this circle a little smaller so I don't have to go get another circle for the inside and I'll send that to the top by clicking on the smaller of the two plus green plus icons in the right corner and I'm going to hide that for a moment while I select these and click on them to get the corner arrow and I don't want to select both I just want to select the outside and there we go and now that I have that the way I want it I'm first going to break this apart and I have this little piece inside I'm going to select it and delete it so I have the the main shape here I'll join all these together and then I'll open that circle in the middle select all and type S to stack and now I can join and I have a frame so that's using the rhinestone tool to create holes you could use this as a rhinestone template cut it out a template so that you could put actual rhinestones in here if you're going to use rhinestones for this design you would want to make sure that you size the holes to fit your rhinestones and I would do some test cuts to make sure your specific rhinestones will fit in the hole size I generally use a whole stone size in the software about three sizes larger than the size, actual size of the stone to make sure that they'll drop into the template. But that's how I would use the rhinestone tool to create this design. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.